Hardcore Iron Man limited to PvP worlds. If you are attempting to kill my Hardcore Iron Man for the 150 mil reward, this is the time to find me. Because every day in the month of January, I will be playing the account, and if I somehow manage to survive the month of January, I will be increasing the reward for killing me. Before we start this episode, I am very happy to announce that this video is sponsored by Tayrock Watches. These watches are very clean and comes with a unique design. I personally own one of them myself and I can proudly recommend the watches to you guys. Use code ENGINEER for 20% off. The episode starts with a total level of 1059 and a combat level of 73. I am here looking at my armor and I'm still rocking the green dragon height. My range level is 79. So I need to upgrade my gear to full black dragon height and I have two options. I either get 84 crafting or I do hard clue scrolls. And you guys know me, I don't skill, I hate skilling. So let's do some hard clue scrolls and hope we can possibly get ourselves some black dragon hide. So I will try to get myself a hard clue scroll here from the Ankus. They have a 1 in 128 drop rate of dropping a hard clue scroll. And also they drop a lot of death and blood runes as well as add the arrows. 73 hit points. That's the first level of the video. Have you guys ever seen the Skull Scepter? This is how it works in action. Invoke, teleport, straight to Barbarian Village. That's 63 strength. Oh, look at that, a magic short bow. I wish I could pick it up. I just realized I do have a Clue Scroll Elite, which I only need to do two quests for, so we're gonna do them right now, real quick. I have yet to cross this bridge successfully. And that's Nature Spirit Quest completed. We got one uh, crafting level, and that's about it. There's always that one guy. Level 67 is here. Two hit, very nice. In search for Merrick, completed. But now we can complete the clue scroll, which is very nice. Oh no. Dragonstone amulet. Bye. And we got ourselves a medium clue scroll. To complete this medium clue scroll step, I need to start and complete observatory quest. And that's observatory quest completed. We got 42 crafting. There's a theory which says that if you drink a keg of beer before opening a clue casket, you are going to get a unique item. Let's drink it and let's open it. I, I mean like it's a unique item, but it's not the one I want. <laughs> Alright, back to the anchors for a hard clue scroll. 64 strength. So I've been here for such a long time and I still haven't received a single hard clue scroll. I have decided to get myself 50 slayer because then I can kill blood wells and they also drop hard clue scrolls and a lot better items than anchors. So that's gonna be more profitable for my account. That's 49 slayer. 62 trolls. Um, I like that. Alright boys and girls, this should be the kill for 50 slayer. We can now kill blood welts. Let's go, we got a few trolls left. We're gonna come back and kill the rest of the trolls later. But now, let's kill some blood welts for some hard clue scrolls. As you can see, I'm now at blood welts in the Slayer Tower. And if someone manages to tell block me, my only escape is through this door and go up and down this ladder. So I gotta be very, very careful. 65 strength. I might just have miscalculated how good Blood Wells is. Not really the best place to get a hard clue scroll or good loot. Um, I don't know what I was thinking. It finally happened. We got a clue scroll. We'll do it straight away. Easiest clue scroll ever. This location is too risky for me to go to, so I have to say bye. Pretending to be a black unicorn. Little do they know, I have dragon claws. <laughs> Enough dreaming, back to the clue scroll grind. I'm back at Ankus, I decided to leave the blood belts because Ankus are safer. I might try greater demons later on. And as you can see, I do have a clue scroll on in my inventory. I got one on the way here, so... I missed the level, but we got 66 strength. Just four levels to go before we can start the defender grind. And we finally got ourselves the casket. Where did this guy come from? Let's get out of here. I don't. What? 
focus. <gasps> okay, he was hunting me. How? Wait, what? I'm not gonna lie, if someone ever finds me in a random location, before I manage to spot them, it fucks up my confidence. And I have to go and do something really safe where I know I can't die. That is why I'm back in Mortania to kill werewolves for medium clue scrolls. Ooh, level 78 with full graceful. What? He might have something. Ooh, we got him. Full graceful dead. He got... He had nothing. There are two of them now. There's a slim chance that they are scouting my location, so I'm hoping world. And if they decide to follow me, that's confirmed that they are scouting me. And there we go, 80 range, my first level 80 on this account. Oh my god, I just realized this guy who's training agility, he have me added. So it's definitely a scout. There he is. He doesn't know that I know. Alright, here's the plan. Whenever he comes down here and jumps up again, I'm gonna hop world and then teleport straight back to Ankus. That way I got enough time to get there and be safe. There we go, there he is. Jump up. No drop, yeah, let's go Ankus, let's go. <gasps> no, hop world. Oh fuck. <gasps> oh my god. I forgot to hop world. Oh my god, that's the first teleblock. That's my first ever teleblock. Holy fuck. All right, I'm here on my pure. I'm gonna take revenge on them. Yeah, they actually left. Tap, 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 tap. I don't care, tap. All right, a little quick review. If this guy with the Staff of the Dead got onto me and got a Venom on me, I'm pretty sure I would be dead. And I'm even more lucky that the other guy splashed his entangle. Pretty sure it's because of his scuffed gear. No, no, no. But anyway, I'm very happy to still be alive and to be able to continue this series. However, before we continue, one small change to my strategy. I will no longer step a foot inside of Canifus and I will no longer be going to Ankus. Simply for the fact that it's too risky for my hardcore Ironman to go there. However, there is still one location where PK still haven't tried to get me at. And it's the Brimhaven dungeon. We got plenty of monsters here. We got greater demons, moss giants, fire giants. And most importantly, three of these monsters, they drop hard clue scrolls. This was a good decision. We got added plate legs and a hard clue scroll. Let's see if we can do it real quick. Runes of Uzer. All right, that's a doable. First step completed. Another step completed. I need 71 crafting for this one. So I'm gonna say bye. Yes, we got an upgrade, a rune full helm. See you, black unicorn mask. Oh my god. <gasps> Level 89 with full everything. As you can tell, I'm jumping a lot from location to location in this episode simply because I need to feel confident in what I'm doing or I'm gonna get teleblocked and die. And there we go, medium clue scroll very, very quickly. Why are you bullying me? I need a brown apron in my next clue scroll. The only place where I can buy one is in Varrock Square. However, every single PvP world got PKs in it. This is such a scary moment in my life. <gasps> this world is empty. Right, let's be quick. And out. Ooh. I used my scout, but it's, it's the, it was the only way. I, and just as I teleport away, Two P carries came in, both with Telebox. And of course, the final clue step has to be done in Edgeville, a very, very, very popular peaking spot. We got a casket. Let's get out of here. All that work for a bit of. Uh, you longbow, swordfish, larvins. Uh, As y'all probably have noticed, there have been an increase of activity when it comes to finding my hardcore Iron Man. And I think it will continue this way for the entire month of January. Boom, 67 strength. We got a combat level as well, 75 combat now, and we can finally, finally and finally, we can finally attack 90s. 74 hit points. Ooh, too tough. Let's go. Will he follow me? Will he know where I'm going? He got the wrong one. Maybe we're lucky and get something good from this one. <gasps> That's very good. That is so good. The year is 2019 and people are still mining for iron ore. We end this episode with a total level of 1074 and a combat level of 75. And make sure to use code engineer for 20% off Tayrock products. You can find the link in the description down below.